So what all changed between the previous revision that is ISO 14971 2007 edition and the latest edition. So we are going to look at all these clause by clause in the coming slides. So what changed between the previous revision whether it is a 2007 edition or the harmonized 2012 and the latest 2019 edition. The first thing that stand out is the new chapter structure in the current revision. The previous revisions were harmonized to MDD but were not harmonized to MDR requirement. So latest one is built in relation to the new MDR regulation. So if I look at the clauses of from the previous revision and how it got updated to the new revision. So we start with the previous revision first. So first is a scope. Next is the term and definition. General requirement for risk management. Risk analysis. Risk evaluation. Risk control. Evaluation of overall risk to risk acceptability. Risk management report and the production and the post production information. So this is according to the previous structure. Now let's see how it got updated in the new structure. So new structure we have the scope new term normative reference has been added because of this the numbering will change from 9 to 10 in the current revision and each uh, clause has been pushed down so we have terms in definition now at 3 which was previously 2 general requirement for risk management risk analysis risk evaluation risk controls evaluation of overall residual risk so they have removed this word acceptability from here from the previous revision next is the risk management review not the report from the previous revision finally is the post and post production information activities so they have removed this word information it may not seem significant but this will forces companies to renumber many documents like training material quality procedures as well as the audit checklist questionnaires and templates so as far as the next years are concerned, they have ten next years from next year A to next year J in the previous revision. Seven of them have been moved to the new companion document that is ISO TS 24971. And the next year that remains a uh, rational for requirement, overview of risk management for process for medical devices and fundamental risk concept. This makes the companion document, which is a less known document, a session companion for 14971. The previous uh, guidance has expanded from 75 pages to approximately now 100 pages, providing more detailed information on risk management tools, best practices, and useful examples. Three new terms have been added under clause 3 terms and definition in the revised edition of 2019. The first one is the benefit which says that the positive impact or the desired outcome of a use of the medical device on the health of an individual or the positive impact on the patient management or public health. Examples of benefit could be the faster recovery or more accurate diagnosis, better public health care or more complete recovery. Another definition that has been added here is the state of the art. It means the developed stage of a technical capability at given time as regards product, process and service based on the relevant consolidated findings of science, technology and experience. The last definition that has been added here is the reasonably foreseeable misuse. That is the use of the product or system in a way not intended by the manufacturer but which can result from readily predictable human behavior. Also all these three terms benefit, state of art and the reasonably forcible misuse have been added in the revised edition of 2019. ISO 14971 and the ISO technical report 24971. This is basically a guidance document that has been developed in parallel with the revision of ISO 14971. The guidance document has the same structure and the number of clauses in the main ISO 14971 standard and it helps to understand and implement each requirement in ISO 14971. The standard is normally re reviewed and revised every five years. 
Now you can follow digital e-learning on other social media platforms like Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, Telegram, Facebook and Twitter and link for all these social media platforms is given below in the description you can check out those and you can follow us on all these social media platforms from all the updates from digital e-learning. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share with all your friends and colleagues and do comment below. Your comments are really motivating. Thank you. Thanks for watching Digital E-Learning. Have a fantastic day ahead.